Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Dice and Slice and Dice and Dice and Slice. Something like that. Anyway, let's uh, begin, shall we? I don't think there's anything to do today other than ride. My music is way too loud. What the hell? Hold on, please. That one I know is definitely too loud. I swear Spotify just randomizes the audio every time I open it. I don't understand. Anyway, here we are. Mana debt, monster pristine, add wolf minus one, reroll. Uh, this team doesn't look like they can handle add wolf very well, so I think I'm gonna avoid that. Mana debt is like, if I pick it, I'm never breaking out of mana debt, but I feel like I've been picking monster pristine too much lately. I don't think I want monster pristine here, so I'm done for mana debt. I think it's all right. It's probably not as bad as I feel. It's just something that I don't love because now in this early game, Mystic and Initiate are going to be able to do basically nothing on most turns. And no, I can't. So you gotta do like redirect here. It's gonna take a long time to kill this wolf off though. Look, the music still feels kind of loud. There we go. Coming up on the channel, I'll tell you, I have been sent two, I've sent and like accepted two review codes for some dice based games that look kind of cool. So I'll probably be doing videos on those when they're released. I think uh, one of them is Dice Folk, which I think came out today. So I'll probably have a video for that tomorrow ish. I was playing it a little bit. And then the other one's a game called uh, Tamarack Trail, which releases on the 29th. So. I'll be checking both of those out pretty, pretty soon. Uh, probably, I don't know, I feel like we're entering a bit of a surge of dice games. I feel like they've been popping up a lot lately, which is fine. I don't really mind either way, but slice and dice, you know, it don't, don't worry. It's not going anywhere. Be not afraid. But it's cool to check out other games and let you guys know about them. You know, maybe you, maybe you don't like Slice and Dice, or maybe you just don't want to pick it up because it isn't on Steam. Here's some other options out there for you now. Tattered Robes Bone Charm. Bone Charm is better when your early team is worse. But at the same time, Tattered Robes, I don't really care for it on a mana that run, so... It's all good. I think the biggest problem with mana debt is things like birds, caw eggs can spawn because you can just miss your rolls. Like if you just roll all mana, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble. Thankfully it didn't happen here. Nah, it's gotta be the overkill. But just of note, for sure. Regardless, I feel fine. I've been... I haven't been on the grind for Slice and Dice lately, though. It's fun, and it's nice to just play another game every day. But I've been doing a lot of Balatro on uh, streams lately. I'll cool off on Balatro soon, I'm pretty sure, because the biggest problem that game faces is that the meta builds for... Go There's exactly one build I think actually goes long. And so you're going to be doing a lot of forcing that build. But anyway, I find that if you early pick Knight, you can put yourself into some difficult situations. Specifically, if you're starting with Brigand 2, if you double exert at a bad timing, you can die. But let's just pretend like I know what I'm doing. Although I think I like Collector more than the average player. I do feel like Collector does all right. He's the plus one guy. You give him a plus one and he goes off. I'm down with Collector. But I think I think Collector might not be good enough. He's just kind of pretty good. And with mana that maybe I need exceptional. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I guess we'll see, right? I'm still in a bit of a relearning period. I've been doing and trying a lot of different stuff to see what feels right. So we'll see. I am not locking Scoundrel on anything other than plus one damage, so I'll tell you that now. There is no reason for Scoundrel. Unless it's lethal, I'm not locking one damage cleave. 
Especially with this guy so close to death. Sapphire Skull Regen Potion. So, the Sapphire Skull is fine, I would say. Upon death, plus two mana, combos with Bone Charm. It's a nice combo, but is it good? It would be better if I had, like, Barbarian, right? Take the random. Statuette? Sure. Statuette is a nice one because there is a world where Statuette becomes run winning. So I'm down for it. I'm, I'm down the clown here. I need better than one shield out of Squire though. Do redirect. I haven't been doing this as much as I need to. Yeah, that's what I thought. If Squire dies, that's how it is. I won't mourn. But if Collector dies, I lose the game, so. Yeah. It is what it is here. I think if you let Collector go, you are gone. Any day now, Scoundrel, I believe in you. That's okay. It's my it's actually my fault. I should not lock this focus side in this position, I don't believe. Ooh. Hey. Losing multiples is kind of scary. What I'll do is I'll just gather here. Because you can gather and it's basically getting out of mana debt for free. On a turn such as this. Hmm. The growth paid out, actually. I can't believe it. Took me a second to even realize it, but that growth paid out. Oh, Trapper. Very nice. I will not be picking Cleric. Thank you for your question. Hopefully that helps you understand. Herbalist is fine with mana debt too. I'm gonna need, I need a like Caldera type here to help me burn through my mana debt quickly. Someone who has good mana gem. I mean, fuck dude, initiate if you want to do that. Don't mind. We go Vine first. Blue or yellow? I think yellow. Oh. Sorry, here it is. I got it. Actually, Squire. For sure. Okay. We're cruising now. Oh, this is lethal. Take it. Sprout Pocket Phylactery. You know, Cranberry had this option on his stream not too long ago. He was playing a little slice and dice, and he was Alfred Sprout Pocket Phylactery. He tried to reason out the pick Sprout, uh, but, you know, because he likes Sprout, but, and, and I'm a known Sprout denier, I think this item is pretty garbage. It's especially bad with mana debt. It's just of note that it is pretty awful here. Pocket Phylactery isn't super good. It's three turns of mana gain on Herbalist. The problem is that it's on Herbalist's wanted side. But you could do this on someone in the future, which is kind of cute. I think it'll be all right. Two plus four. The pseudo's low world, so we'll be fine in this fight. One of the enemies that I would say I've re disrespected the most is probably pseudo's, because sometimes they really do just... Uh, they really do just do it to you. Sometimes they roll double ones, sometimes they roll like triple sixes on you. And then you are no more. You are, your run is but a memory. Almost got him, I think he runs this. Yeah, all good. Oh, statue. <laughs> not for sure, Maiko. Collector, I don't know if I said this or not, but I thought it. Collector is significantly better if you have any form of plus one, because suddenly this is four, this is four, and this is two damage cleave, and Maiko is that. He's also good mana gain for Herbalist to burn down with Trapper. Because in this one, you don't need a big spell from your... from your blue. Our big spell is Trapper's, Trapper plus Herbalist here. Oh, that's incorrect. It goes like so... I think we just burst collector actually. Bell is not long for this world here. 
I should probably have just burned down the fanatic, but too late now. I'm locked in. We can also very reasonably kill Bell on this turn, which is why I kind of just sent it. 2 4. Nah, this is not good enough. Ooh, misplay. First the Fanatic so it dies from, from one damage here. Yeah, worst case I can just have two deaths if I have to. Obviously I don't have to, I'm perfectly fine here, but... Herbalist, you cannot redirect the pain. So you should probably roll for something else. Okay. Could just die and then revive. Move Bone Charm over to Herbalist in this case would be a good idea. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter, we win this fight for sure. No imp can stop me. Goodbye. Missing Ring, Lich Finger. Lich Finger is uh, not great, I would say. I think Hissing Ring is good here because it goes well on Collector. That statuette. There you go. I don't respect the duplicate side very much. And yeah, I understand why I was such a big mana debt believer now. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Good dodge, actually. Changes a lot. So we can now spore there and the quartz is dead. I'm one off of killing this bones, but I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Because the big four beacon got dodged anyway. Trapper Herbalist does kind of make short work of this mid game for me, I have to say. Let's me get quite quick through here. I was thinking armor, actually, as my gray, because Collector is someone who wants it. So the thing about armor, I've been known to talk a little bit of smack about armor. The armor trouble is that the smith on its own is really bad. Any character that can use the smith well likes armor, but if you don't have someone who uses smith well, armor is not very good. That's your important note. Because I am known for disliking armor. I actually think I'd rather just stop this imp from spawning a guy. I'm not too worried. Basically, by saying that, I'm saying I'm going to win on this fight, and I think- or win on this turn, and I think I will. We can take the cleave one, it's fine. You can also proxy the loss here. And decay somewhere else. Ooh, ladder clink. Up here is base side. I think ladder sucks. I think clink is okay, but I find these both to be pretty bad. Someone was talking in the Discord and asking, when do you skip? And in this position, I would skip or reroll here because random tier 5, this does very little. I have no way to put, apply shields to units in a way where this matters. Uh, this does effectively nothing, and I don't think it ever does anything. And sometimes you hit something exceptional. Such as Big Duck. And now Armor gets to come to the end with me. And that's pretty cool. Big Duck. I would like to roll the Cleave. Okay. We can Smith a 4. Just kill the zombie is fine. I'm not worried about the slime that spawns. But yeah, like that's why you random there, because it's very unlikely that that item is ever going to be useful. So if you miss and the item is never useful, you can just go, oh well. Uh, it was probably not going to be useful anyway on the reroll. And sometimes you hit and then your run is forever shifted. The whole landscape shifts off of this. I do believe. Because now I could see myself actually just keeping armor or trapper herbalist for the rest of this run. 
pick up like barbarian artificer to proc things like that and it's a pretty clear through line that i think will win very decisively <laughs> Leader? I could pick leader here. This is a position for leader. Especially since I have a middle side replacer for him. When you have something that looks so strong that it already wins the game, leader starts to look quite a bit better. And uh, another classic mismatch here, if you haven't seen this one before, Baron versus Trapper Herbalist. He is just killed. He can't play. Now, I'm actually not going to do it like that. I just wanted to show you. Because obviously I can smith up to three here. And then I'm actually mana positive killing Baron. Which means I get to go here and break these intangibles. But yeah. Trapper Herbalist versus Baron and Warlock versus Baron. Two of the biggest mismatches in this game. Worth knowing because Baron is probably the most deadly of the three bosses you can fight here. And there are a few tricks that just auto-lose him the game. Yep, I'm keeping Trapper. It's really hard for you to show me something other than Trapper on this run. That Twisted Flax goes nuts here. I don't have anything to smith now. That's the problem. I guess I'm just smithing for armor. I don't know. But you can't smith this. This doesn't sniff. And I'm just gonna kill a snake here. Strange. Isn't it? Like, Smith doesn't even seem that good in this position. Because I just want to dodge while I work down these snakes. Gotta be careful, I can definitely drop it here and die. You don't want to get lost. Sure. Because I can't target fire the birds down super well. But, man, this guy needs to stop rolling smith. Roll some damage, you freak. Two mana, reuse. Someone hits mana or damage here. No? Okay. Strange, isn't it? I'm just trapped here forever? Because my trapper is just fucking missing every turn? Come on, trapper. What are we doing? We're dying to a snake here, buddy. Let's get to work. Roll me your freaking vulnerable before we lose the game. I'm gonna lose it, I think. I think it's a freak out angle for sure here. Okay, I lock these four because I have a guaranteed survival line that kills the snake. This guy, he's, he's fucking, he's done. He's out. He's off the team. But I need him to live. One vulnerable here, you freak. I'm dying. Thank you. Finally. I do need some mana now, though. Guys? Guys, I need mana. Ooh. Herbalist dies, and then I'm okay. It's just, it's a little bit of a, well, you know. It's a little bit of a all the eggs are in one basket issue. You can play Sorcerer here, it's fine. I don't hate him. He's not the big echo cash out that I want to see. But he's re-rolls. I actually could also skip here if I just want to look for... Like, Sorcerer. Not Sorcerer, sorry, Artificer. Artificer, Warlock. I would accept Kronos. Wizard would do fine. Weaver would do fine. I'm gonna skip. 
I'm pretty well in on this Trapper Armor Herbalist final theme here. I think these three go hard. Despite the pathetic performance of Trapper in the last fight, I believe in second chances. Gonna need a little bit of manner. Yeah, here we go. See, this is how it's supposed to look, and then we pick a target, and they are immediately obliterated. Like, if we get to the boss with this build, we're gonna crush them. It's like a turn one kill on every boss. Assuming I can connect with my sides. But it's a lot of, a lot of trouble for Trapper to not hit. Which is not out of the question for the boy. A lot of pressure on him. The problem too is that I don't have strong defenses if I miss. If I'm dying, I'm dying. There's not a whole lot of counterplay. Invil charge. Charge is cool because it's another way to boost. It's also a shield. But anvil. Feel to the middle side. Feel here is okay. Leader takes phylactery and then this gets steel. I lean a little bit towards charge. The problem with steel is who makes mana on this team, or who makes shield on this team. That's right, it's friggin' nobody. By design. They are kind of kicking Mako's ass here. It's okay. You live turn one against snipers in a fight where they're just a glass cannon, you usually win the fight. Barring any disasters. This does not appear to be a disaster. Gast. Is he good enough? I think Gast is good enough for this team. I'll take him. He gets bone charmed. And we ride on. You see, this is what it's supposed to look like right here. Almost. Almost what it's supposed to look like right here. Very close to what it was supposed to look like. Sadly, not. But every turn that we live is another turn that we are not dead. And every turn that we roll dice is another step closer to actually getting to play the game. Any second now. Nope, not this turn. But we also just cancel his turn here, so it's all good. Take your time, team. I know it's very hard to roll your two sides. It's a very challenging ask, I understand. Mana. Mana. Surely we can do this. There we go. Still, it wasn't Herbalist that rolled the mana, all I'm saying. Suspicious. But if I lose from this spot, it's just atrocious. Three. I'm just looking for damage for spider kill. If I wasn't setting him to 3, I would play this fight much slower, but because he's going to 3 HP and leader has it, or armor has it, it should always be fine. But I guess I could have missed and died there, huh? It's all good. Scorpion tail, cocoon. Ah, fuck dude, I could play cocoon here. Sure feels like it might be a cocoon angle. It's actually a scorpion tail because Scorpion Tail gives weakened a leader. Another step towards enlightenment here. I could have done this. Oh, whatever. Hissing Ring goes to Trapper, I guess. Okay. At your leisure, team. Whenever you're ready. Hmm. Time to start thinking about survival here. Er, no. 
One needs to go here so that I can go kill zombie, set bird to one, harvest bird next turn, and then the bird harvest will give me Hydra. I don't want to feel like I am complaining. However, I am just curious as to why my team is not rolling mana. Here we go. It is still curious. Spencer Faith. No, I'm committed to Trapper Herbalist. It's just, a, it's an all-in strat, right? If I miss, I'm fucked. But I'm all in. For sure, I'm all in. There's no decision making to have here. If I hit, I hit. If I miss, I miss. There's no way I'm playing the heavy three. It's, it's Herbalist, dude. The problem in this run is Herbalist. Herbalist is getting paid off or some shit. Check Herbalist PayPal ASAP. Who paid off my Herbalist? Why am I not rolling mana? I'm just asking. It's like, it feels unlikely, does it not? It just doesn't feel likely. It's okay, Herbalist. Apparently, I don't fucking need you, but I sure hope you can roll yourself some mana soon. Pull your shit together. Five to seven. That's duck. Uh, it's duck, flax, charge. So it's duck. I don't really want it here. I need something that echoes already, so I'm not too into it. So Horned Viper for poison. We live we live fast, we die fast, but three threes is fucking terrible. Oof. I'll take it. I think Horned Viper does nothing. Oh, bowl. Whoa! Hey, that's sick. Wait, it's actually so cool. It's just a free plus six HP for Herbalist. That's pretty cool. Uh, Lucky goes nowhere. And this thing goes nowhere. Okay, level 19. Double bird, double basilisk. This will be tough. Our goal here is going to be to one tap a bird. Thank you, Herbalist. If I lock this death and I miss the echo, it's real tragic. Okay, it's real tragic. I can copy onto him, but I might not want to. Let's just take a moment to think about it. So with this mana, I can charge. No, I don't like this. I think this is not correct. So instead, I will hit here, 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 and I'll petrify his death side. Ooh, you know what? I just won't play it. It's okay, Gast. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, buddy. Could definitely die, though, in a bad set of rolls on this turn. Comes down to the question of if I can kill these birds. Uh, and the answer is yes. And now I lock this so that if, I'm sorry, when Herbalist fucks everything up here, mm -hmm, I still have something to play. Because this is ranged and those are dead. And yeah. It's not an if though, it's a when Herbalist fucks everything up. Thank you, Ghast. Very cool. Because I, I needed only two mana to survive that turn and walk this fight out. But sometimes we don't roll very well. Okay, Exia, fine. This is a pass. 
Uh, send it. I think a lot of times I will kill Hexia on round one. Good. Do I take the three? Yes. Take the two? Yes. Bad roll. For sure. Let me see where I am. I am not down. This is a waste. And this is a waste. Okay. Acceptable. So we're going to shoot there. Giga Smith up the leader, who then puts a 7 weaken on Hexia. Hexia is hitting a 1. If I charge my leader, Hexia misses, but that's not very good. So we go big hit, mana deck cleared, done. Next turn I will win or I will start complaining. One of those two things. It's not this, I don't think. It's this. Ooh, I'm about to start complaining. I'm the fuck on, Trapper. No way you blow this run. No way you lose this. Trapper. What are we doing? Because now my gas dies with no counterplay. And then I'm no mana. Because this fucker can't play. Oh, God. It's upsetting. I have to save Trapper, right? That seems li very likely. So I have to do this? Oh, Lord. And then leader's dead, for sure. And I think I have lost. I just can't hit. I don't know. If I go three turns and this trapper misses three straight turns, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. It's just not meant to be sometimes. Yeah, I mean, some, sometimes it's just not meant to be. That's all there is to say. Because my herbalist gets petrified. It's... Not over. I need to save the boost, I'm pretty sure. I just want to have the damage, though, if I save the boost. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. It has to be. And we'll just hope that we get... I don't know, it has to be another Petrify hit. Like, if Hexia triple rolls Petrify, I think I can still walk away from this fight. Okay. I don't know. There's not much to say about this run. I think, well, there is, there's plenty to say about this run, but at the end of the day, the thing to say about this run is, yeah, sometimes it goes like this. I don't know. Sometimes it goes like this. This run shouldn't lose. I don't think this run should lose, but sometimes, it, and 
Uh, please feel free to tell me what the odds are of this happening. Sometimes your trapper misses three. He has two sides that he can hit, and if he hits any of those sides, he wins instantly. And sometimes you go three straight turns without hitting that. Now, if I were further on in this streak, like if this weren't, if I didn't lose yesterday, I would not play like this. Because the while this run is cool, this is not the correct way to play this run out. You don't do cool shit in Slice and Dice like this. What you do is you just leave it, right? If I play this run and I just go on, I say, ah, whatever, don't care about this Trapper Herbalist combo. And we just play like some standard boring line, it's fine. But sometimes when you put, because what's wrong here? Why do I lose this run? Let's, let's talk about it like this. By the way, almost win, very close to winning. Why do I lose this run? The problem with this run is that the whole team centers around this side, and even though it's unlikely, sometimes you will miss this side. I can roll nine times and sometimes miss all nine shots. It happens. It's not super, it's not super likely, right? It's like a, what? It's four out of six to the power of nine, right? So here we can, we can run the math real quick. I've done this already recently. It's four out of six to the power of nine. So that's uh, to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, assuming, assuming that I did roll all nine times, it may have only been eight times. Uh, it's, uh, let's say I rolled seven times, right? It's a 5% chance that this happens. And at any point you roll, you roll that vulnerable side, I smith the vulnerable, Hexia dies on the spot. It's so much damage output. But because of the way this shit works, sometimes you can lose to that. So what you have to do if you want to be win streaking is you want to be building in fallback plans. This team has no fallback plan. If Trapper misses three turns in a row, I die. The only thing I have is like leader can delay sometimes, but leader can't delay uh, the big pain descend, right? That shit doesn't work. So I don't know. It's fine. If I... If I just play, you just play like Dancer, Sorcerer, I mean, we had Dancer, Sorcerer, fucking Surgeon, and then you would probably have like Paladin or Cleric, not Cleric, Paladin or Stalwart here. This runs a stomp. It's not even close. I, I would also not pick Leader. Basically, no choice that I made here was good for winning, but it's cool to sometimes keep three tier twos and see what happens. And sometimes what happens is you lose the five percenter or the 95 percenter, I guess. It's like playing XCOM. That's fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one where I stop having fun. Have a good one.